What's up, guys? Check it out. So, I woke up a little earlier just because I was really wanting to finish up this uh, drawing I've been doing while I've been studying about the celiac trunk, which is a part of uh, the circulatory system. I could go more specifically into it. But with that being said, um, it kind of has to do with the stomach, the spleen, the intestines, the aorta, etc. Anyways, I wake up. I woke up earlier to like finish up a drawing for like 15 minutes because I really wanted to finish it. But I didn't last night. But I worked hard on it. Anyways, but then I went back to sleep. And now it's about 8 o'clock. I wake up and I think... Thank God for lack of better words or good un or more than good enough words, however you may want to see it. Thank God for another beautiful morning. Okay, I wake up and I think, thank God for another beautiful morning, right? I have a beautiful place. I got a, I had a place to sleep last night. You know, it might be. You know, a, a living room, a living room floor and some blankets. But guess what, man? I'm with my fam right here. I was last night. I woke up with them. And that's, you know, you got to. It's almost like that's my moment. And I'm grateful for it. I wake up and I think, man, what a beautiful day. I saw my kids yesterday. I took my kid to baseball practice. And my other son, me and him played while we were at baseball practice. So one of them was practicing. I got to cheer him on a few times. So that was really dope. And then I got to hang out with my other son while my son was playing baseball. I got to have a great conversation with my other son. One was playing baseball, one was, one was hanging out with me. We were cheering on his brother. I was anyways, but he was kind of, but not out loud. And then I wake up, I see my study stuff right there on the table, ready to go. Check it out. I see my study stuff right here, ready to go. And I'm excited to keep studying. I love to study. That's an absolute blessing that I can say that truthfully because it's very genuine. I love to study. And that's something that I had never developed in my past. And truly, I believe it's just because I had never introduced myself to it. It's kind of like you introduced yourself to anything else. You gotta, you know, you can't like something if you don't know about it or if you don't do it. Anyways, you gotta find your own interest and I encourage it. You know, I like nutrition and I like the study of the human body. And I think physical fitness is a great place to start or a great foundation for anybody, even a necessary, to some extent, foundation for anybody doing anything. And I believe many people would agree. So I wake up, I walk out here. And I see these hills over here, check it out. And I, it's about to like rain. I could hear the drizzle already. And I feel the fresh air and it feels amazing. It feels great. It feels so nice. And then my sister just left and I see her making her coffee. So I don't drink coffee, but I drink tea. I got my tea right here. No, I drank some tea yesterday for my tea session. I do drink tea. You know, and then I have all these beautiful cups right here of my sister where she traveled all around the world. You know, Poland, Germany, Scotland, Mexico. All right. What I'm saying is look around. Look around. I have all these pictures of my family. Beautiful pictures. Beautiful pictures of my family. Okay, of my dog when I was little. Unfortunately, I didn't pay enough attention to it. Once I got older, because when I was little, it was like my best friend. But look around, look around, look around you. It's so beautiful. It's a blessing. 
you know i have my my tools right here for making my juice yesterday i had some quinoa i had some green beans it's just you know there's fresh air it's fresh you know there's like uh there's like a great vibe in the air there's people awake i can hear them so other people are having beautiful days as well you know i can start hearing that drizzle i come out here it's a beautiful view it's all nice and clean out here at least compared to how it was because i enjoy organizing and getting things clean because it feels good i'm gonna get to studying i'm gonna put on my favorite movie right now kung fu panda <laughs> it, it's it's a dope ass movie and um you know it's a bunch of good memories guys it's a good feeling i wake up i say dang how did i get to this you know age as we call it in age i see age as more than just a number it's experience it's honesty it's willingness it's growth you know it's things like that that's what age is you know you can go to the gym so you might have gone to the gym for five years but if you never used it somebody might have gone to the gym for one year used it every day you know who's grown more the person that went to the gym for one year and used it every day or the person to who went to the year for to the gym for five years and never used it even if the other person's older so age i see it as more than just a number you know it's experience it's growth it's honesty it's progress it's perseverance it's failing and getting back up etc and it's being able to push through adversity and push through your surroundings and push through negative and positive emotions and feelings criticism etc and i encourage you guys man find your interests find your interests find your passions look at your life wake up what a blessing you know look at these simple something as simple as this you see these acorns right here these beautiful acorns my sister went out with my kids for christmas and she brought some acorns home and now I, I use them to decorate our patio. And I get to see that. These flowers. My mom got them for her birthday. Which was Christmas as well. It's just. You know. There's things you learn as you grow. As time goes by. You know. As I've seen my kids get older. I, it's made me more aware. That's one thing. You know, to do my best to cherish my moment with them, first of all, because they get older. You know, daddy's little girl used to not give me attitude. She used to just come and hug me. Now, when she gets mad, she gives me attitude. Little booger. <laughs> but it's cool. You know, I miss a little girl who wouldn't give me no attitude. But at the same time, I don't anymore because I love my little girl now as well. But time does go by, so cherish your moment. I remember, you know, fair to say, I miss being a kid or a littler kid <laughs> because there was no responsibilities and it was cool. But at the same time, I also don't because I love my moment right now because I wake up and I love to study and that wasn't in my past. I wake up, I love physical fitness, I love nutrition, I love, you know, helping other people and learning how to do that better. And I'm fortunate to have this moment as well. So with that being said, guys, check it out. It's a beautiful day. You wake up. You say, dang, look around. Look around. You know, look at yourself. Think about your life. What has been? What is it? What do you want it to be? What would you like yourself to be? Do you really like how you're being? Forget about the comfort Forget about if it's comfortable to think about those things. Forget about if it's easy to think about those things. Let yourself, you know, let yourself feel uncomfortable. That's what I encourage. Think about your moment right now. Do you really absolutely want to be exactly who you are right now? Or would you like to start adding some changes? 
And I believe change is going to happen inevitably, whether you like it or not. The only difference is if you pay attention to it, if you're somewhat willing, conscious of it, then you can be, you know, honesty. Honesty is a huge thing. So if you can, if you can entertain some significant honesty, if you're able to entertain a significant level of honesty and reflect on your life, you know, look at yourself, then that's a great place to start. And take it from there. But like I've said before, change is kind of like this. It's like if you want to learn something new for the first time, you're not going to be good at it right away. Okay? A great example, at a restaurant, we get new servers. You know, so I've worked at restaurants probably at least eight years accumulated, maybe more of my life. You get a new server, they're nervous, or a new busboy, they're nervous. They don't know how to walk around the kitchen or the or the um, dining room. They don't know how to talk to customers or the cooks. They don't know how to communicate with a big team. Then it's, it gets busy. They don't know how to organize themselves, etc. And you could see it. And it's so apparent that they don't know what they're doing. They're all nervous. They're, they don't know how to carry trays. They don't even know how to, you know, bring orders. Anyways. Change is not necessarily easy. But decide what kind of change you would like to make a part of your life. And go for it. I encourage it. You know, you want to be a freaking marine biologist. You want to learn about sea life, but you're afraid of what people around you are going to think because, oh, out of nowhere, you're interested in sea life. Forget about that. Go study sea life if that's what you love. You want to jump into the ocean and go diving one day with marine, you know, marine life and know what you're looking at, know what you're doing. And that's what, out of nowhere, you know, that's what you would like to pursue. Do it. You know, whatever, man, just think about it. You want to start, you know, introducing physical fitness, nutrition into your life, then take it a step at a time. Introduce yourself to it. You understand? What kinds of foods are available for a healthy lifestyle? What kinds of foods are available for a healthy lifestyle? Introduce yourself to that. Don't try to change your diet from one day to another. But take it one step at a time. Go to the store. Go into the vegetable and fruit section. Check it out. See what you see. Nuts and seeds. Go check out dairy products, but grass-fed. You know, if you if you have those grass-fed uh, animal products, go check those out. You understand? And go check out what other health food series. There's so many health foods, man. Go into the health food department. Take it a step at a time. Make it a fun thing. Doesn't mean you have to change your diet overnight. All right? Like I said, I just got to see my sister make her coffee. She went off to college, you know, and she's been in college for a few, you know, years now. That makes me feel very fortunate to have a sister who's going to college. And now I'm going to sit down and study myself. I'm so proud of her. My mom wakes up at five in the morning to go to work every day. I'm so proud of her. Ever since I've been a little kid, I remember her. Boom, hardcore working lady. Two jobs all the time. Understand? So look around, guys. Look around. Wake up. It's a beautiful morning. And I understand not every day is easy. So try to be grateful and try to push your, and try to embrace as best as you can the tough, difficult moments and learn from them. That's what I encourage. That's what I do. I'm not trying to say every day I wake up perfectly happy. Trust me, life's a trip. Your surroundings, things going on in your life sometimes are less than perfect. Trust me, I know. And I don't expect that any that I'm any different, that it's any worse for me or any less. But I encourage us, look around, be grateful, look at yourself, love yourself, decide what it is you want to do with your life, and let's get it. I'm about to get to studying. Looks like there's a beautiful lady out there cleaning. It's amazing. You know, there's a beautiful, beautiful day today. And I'll talk to you guys later. I'll probably drop a few videos about some health foods. Something like that. I might start dropping even uh, videos about anatomy just to practice myself. 
I'm not sure. But you guys, enjoy your day. Love your family. Look around you. Love your friends. Encourage them. Encourage your friends, your loved ones to blossom, for lack of a better word, to thrive, to blossom, to be honest, to grow. Encourage your friends to be themselves all the way, as best as they can be. Encourage your friends to be comfortable around you and to not worry about um, what they want to do because you support it. Regardless if they're into fashion out of nowhere. If one of your friends out of nowhere has like never been into fashion, you tell them, dude, if you want to do fashion, dude, go for it, man. You know, encourage people, guys. Encourage your, your family. And let's get it. I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Encourage yourself. You're worth it. Peace out.